equation in the form of f of x is equals to p sub x divided by q sub x, where p and q are polynomials. Rational equation is equals to x divided by 3 is equals to 15 divided by 5. So 3 times 15 is equals to 5x, where x is equals to 9. Okay, let's solve for the rational equation. All I have to do is to multiply 2, cross multiply 2x minus 5 is equals to 6x plus 5. So all you have to do is to multiply 4x minus 10 
6x plus 30. So, all you have to do is 6x minus 4x transpose and then negative 30 minus 10. So, the answer is negative 40 minus 2x and then I is divided by 2, divided by 2 and then x is equals to negative 20. So, let's check if this is our correct answer. So, how do we check? So, 2 substitute negative 20 minus 5 divided by 6 is equals to negative 20 plus 5 divided by 2. This will become negative 40 minus 5 divided by 6 and then negative 15 divided by 2. So, negative 45 divided by 6. So, negative 15 divided by 2. But this is divisible by 3 by 3. So, negative 45 divided by 3 that will become negative 15. And 6 divided by 3 will become negative 2. So, negative 15 over 2. So, our answer is correct. Okay, let's solve for this rational equation. 5x. All you have to do is to cross multiply 5x times 2, which equivalent to 10 times 5. So, this will become 10x is equals to 50. So, divided by 10, divided by 10. And then, x is equals to 5. Okay, let's have an... Uh, Solve for the checking. Substitute 5 divided by 5 and then 10 divided by 2. So this will become 25 divided by 5 and then 10 divided by 2. So 5 is equals to 5. So our answer is correct, which is x is equals to 5 for the rational equation for our topic in rational function. Let's try to solve for the rational equation. Okay. So, in order to understand what is rational function. So, all you have to do is to transpose 4x minus 2x. And then, negative 25 will become positive 25 minus 5. So, 25 minus 5 will become 20. And 4x minus 2x will become 2x. So, divided by 2, divided by 2. And then x is equals to 10. So this will be our final answer. But how to prove that in order to understand rational function? So all you have to do is to check if the answer is correct. So substitute. So 2 times 10 minus 5 is equals to 4 times 10 minus 25 so this will become 20 minus 5 and then 40 minus 25 so the answer is 15 is equals to 15 so x is equals to 10 is correct answer that is rational equation Let's try to solve for the rational equation Okay, so in order to understand what is rational function, so all you have to do is to transpose 4x minus 2x and then negative 25 will become positive 25 minus 5. So 25 minus 5 will become 20 and 4x minus 2x will become 2x. So divided by 2, divided by 2 and then x is equals to 10. So, this will be our final answer. But, how to prove that in order to understand rational function? So, all you have to do is to check if the answer is correct. So, substitute. So, 2 times 10 minus 5 is equals to 4 times 10 minus 25. So, this will become 20 minus 5 and then 40 minus 25. So, the answer is 
15 is equals to 15. So, x is equals to 10 is correct answer. That is rational equation. Okay, let's solve for this one. 2x minus 10 is equals to 30. And then how do we solve for this one? 2x is equals to 30. And then transpose minus 10 will become positive 10. And then 30 plus 10 will become 40. So 2x divided by 2 divided by 2. And then x is equals to 20. So this will be our final answer. So let's check. Go back to original equation. Then substitute the 20. So 2 times is 20 minus 10 is equals to 30. This will become 40 minus 10 is equals to 30. And then 30 is equals to 30. So this is the correct answer. This is the topic for the rational function for rational okay, let's equation. let's solve for this rational equation. 5x. All you have to do is to cross multiply 5x times 2, which equivalent to 10 times 5. So this will become 10x is equals to 50. So divided by 10, divided by 10. And then x is equals to 5. Okay, let's have an... Uh, Solve for the checking. Substitute 5 divided by 5 and then 10 divided by 2. So this will become 25 divided by 5 and then 10 divided by 2. So 5 is equals to 5. So our answer is correct, which is x is equals to 5 for the rational equation. For our topic in rational. Okay, let's have another set of example. 2x squared minus 18 is equals to 0. So 2x squared. Transpose. This will become positive 18. So divided by 2. Divided by 2. And then x squared is equals to 9. So when we speak about x squared. This is a radical. So square root of 9. The answer is 1 positive 1 for positive 3. And the other one is negative 3. So this will be our final answer. Okay, let's solve for the rational uh, function. How do we solve for this one? Where x is equal to 0, we know that f of x is equivalent to y. And then substitute 0 minus 15 divided by 3. And then y negative 15 divided by 3. And then y is equals to negative 5. So how do we find the y negative 5? So maybe it be here. So this will become y is equals to negative 5. For the x squared minus 49 divided by x plus 7. Again, we change this one. f of x is equals to y. So x minus 7 is the factor of x plus 7 divided by x plus 7 and then cancel and cancel this one so y is equals to x minus 7 and then we will replace x is equals to 0 so 0 minus 7 and then y is equals to negative 7 so where do we graph the y is equals to negative 7 maybe here so this will be y is equals to negative 7 